This is a Shrina Mashinka. Shrina Welcome to Moscow. We are here about to fly to our first destination, Arhangelsk. Arhangelsk is the capital of Arhangelsk Oblast, yes? Yeah, yeah, Arhangelsk region. Arhangelsk region. Over there, we're gonna spend one night and then we're gonna go to Solovki Islands. We speak Russian, but this video will be in English. So nobody else can understand what we're talking about here. Maybe this guy can. <laughs> He's a spy bro, he's getting too close. Hey yo, do you understand about this? <laughs> I see he's coming so close to us, dude. Look, spy bro. He's on the phone with Putin. With Putin. <laughs> Russian airport. No, 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 man. No. They don't believe in virus. No, There's no virus. Everybody has look for the urgent case. Urgent everybody case. Has, yeah, yeah. When they meet a person who has virus, but you can't tell when he has the virus. Uh, <laughs> where are we going? Uh, this one. Or this one. Perfect. You can feel how uh, how to be a tomato in uh, uh, aluminum can. Uh, I didn't understand none of that, but that's cool. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. No COVID. <laughs> You gotta smoke? <laughs> Russian style, smoke while you wait for the plane. Uh, are you, are you want to smoke inside? Honestly, if I did this uh, right here, right uh -huh. away, uh, I think uh, no one no one would uh, we'll give say me anything about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all good. It would be like, uh, like okay, if you smoke it, we also smoke here. Like. <laughs> the worst thing that in the Russian airports, there's always somebody smoking inside of them in the bathrooms. Yeah. Whenever you go to the Russian bathroom, there's always a smell of a f***ing cigarette. It's, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's like uh, here is our business class, so uh, it looks beautiful. Uh, we will we will go to it and fly by economy. Yes, it's really not that special. Just a little bit bigger the chair. That's it. I mean. <laughs> I, I tell you, no, nobody will sit here. Are you happy? Budget, budget traveling? No business class? Something around uh, three or four hundred years ago, British had to leave. That's it. That's a long story, bro. Yeah, yeah, long and boring. Do you think you're in class, you're a professor? Uh, that you can tell a story like this long? Yeah, yeah, professor of alcohol. <laughs> as soon as we come there, I think it will be much more interesting, so you will see the thing. Talking in bad words. That's it? Welcome? Did you see that? What? The first door in the airport so is for visitors. Okay. Where did you see this? It's uh, like a small city with a small airport and uh, everything is old fashioned. And one belt? Yes, only one. And we have around 300,000 people here only. And it's a capital. And the territory of uh, our region is bigger than France. And we have only one million people around in all of the region. region, yes. Wow. Uh, do you feel the smell? This is the airport of a big city. There is five cars. There is one little cafe. Commercial for McDonald's and that's it. And the fountain. It's, I don't know how you explain this type of places. Can you feel that it smells like someone was uh, farting here for 15 minutes or something like that? Oh, look yeah. at the city, Arhangelsk. Wow. When people come here, I think they get uh, depression. Yeah, like. usually people leave from here. from us.
Астрахань. Woke up today is minus 19 Celsius. Check this out. Despite all the stereotypes that Americans have about Russians, this is how a home, an apartment home, looks like in Arhangelsk. You want some pancakes, guys? It's all modernized. You can see it. Big mm. kitchen. Have the bathroom here with the washer. So it's it's two bedrooms apartment. You have the couch, of course. So guys, don't think that if you live in a near the Arctic, you live in some really bad conditions. There is a patio, some old classical uh, homes. I think it's built before Stalin. Russian winter, here we go, wooden houses built during the 30s, ice on top of the roofs. These ones are really fascinating to look at. I know a famous YouTuber, Orlamov, filmed some of these houses in Russia and how they are all about to fall apart. Nobody's putting in money for restoration. Uh, they are cool. I wish they did something with them. There you go. One of the buildings you saw earlier is fully demolished. Nobody has money to invest in it. The city is broke. Yeah, nobody's interested. We were asking my dad uh, what he want to, uh, what he want us to buy because they have some problems uh, to deliver products uh, to the island. So we need to buy some. How often stuff. do the products arrive to the island? Uh, usually, usually they deliver it by airplane during Once the a winter. Week? And uh, at summertime they deliver it by some ship. A typical Russian store, supermarket that has everything. Nothing special comparing to Europe or US, I would say. But some of the stuff is more unique, like beans, marinated beans, marinated eggplants. The cost, let's say, of olives, uh, Russian olives is about $1.70. And we have Spanish olives, $1.50. I guess it's Russian made. Lemons is 99 rubles per kilo. Bottle of ketchup plants is 159. Right now the ruble, one dollar is 77 rubles. Я нашел самую главную вещь. Russian Coca-Cola. Russian cola, bro. Made out of shishka. Porky, porcupine. Next stop. This is the Vaskova airport near the sea, the White Sea. Super small, super Soviet. You can see some of the panels here. We found a mosaic, a Soviet mosaic. I see a few faces and uh, actually it's not quite clear. Maybe it's some space or has to be to do with space or agriculture? Oh, I know, it's uh, two pilots. Two pilots. Yeah. See right there, it's, it's wrote, it's, it's written there like USSR uh -huh. and uh, the number. This one is huge. This is like a tank carrier. You can make a raven this. Cool. It seems like a party bus or what? <laughs> 500 people would charge $25 per entrance. Сам ты где живешь? Я, я сам из Афганистана. Из Афганистана, да? Да. Я, ну, сейчас в Москве живу. Здесь так бываю по этот uh -huh. время от времени. Вот. 
И как вам нравится город? Да, Перспектива есть? А? Перспектива есть? Нету. Нету? Нету. Ну, в Москве есть, как бы, отсюда, поэтому я бы перебрался в Москву. А зарплаты какие? Вот, средняя зарплата в Архангельске? Мне кажется, 20-30, это вот такая... Looks like we're flying on this plane. This is the airport. I mean, you can tell what I'm filming, but sometimes people confuse it with maybe a bus station. There's no difference. We arrived here two hours early. And if you look at the tabloid of the schedules for the departure and arrivals, there's only one, one departure to Solovki, a small little plane. And we're about to go to registration and it's saying it's delayed by 30 minutes. So all morning they were doing something, whatever they were doing with the plane, and it's still delayed. The tickets is regional airlines. Here are the tickets. A lot of information, bro. Yeah. You need to know everything before you board the plane. Yeah. They will take you back. Yo, you want to make a phone call? There's this classic phone booth right here at the airport registration. How many weight? Like 11. I got some snaps of the plane, which was pretty sick. 11 people went on it. It was cool. <laughs> that was destroyed and it was built. Huge. And next to it is one of the old smallest things. Here's a few abandoned buildings. We are at Nikita's father's house in Solovki. Finally arrived, about to eat a delicious borscht. Yeah, and real Russian borscht without and, any chilies inside. And sauerkraut. And this amazing atmosphere, very cozy. But it looks perfect. The house is made out of pearl wood. Здравствуйте, а табачные изделия есть? А где-то магазин поблизости есть? Вообще нигде не продают. Ага. Сигареты. Oh, да? Beautiful monastery. night lighting tomorrow we'll be inside exploring with the guide it's the other side of the monastery which is huge probably zoom in a bit and there's the the white sea pretty close to it and it looks amazing on that absolutely wonderful all right here we go the ascensions Essentials of a banya, Russian banya, right? Ruskaya banka. You walk in, everything is made out of wood. You have a lot of cool decorations. You have the iron, cast iron here. You got the oil lanterns. This is teapot, old school. Then we have the the main, most important part of the banya. That's where you throw the wood which is here. And then from the wood, it heats up the rocks on the other side, which we'll just show you. Also, you got here the table with beer and some salty fish. 
that's what we usually do even though it's not healthy these are the protections for the head so your head doesn't overheat probably hard to see but whatever then we go in this is the banya this is the where you fill up the cold water so when you come out from the sauna you push it down and you get the, the cold effect you get cool down then we have here the banya itself this is the rocks i was like telling you about there's the pipe that heats up the rocks then you throw some water it gets even more hotter and then you have some water here and some pillows wooden pillows that's for when you get hit by like leaves leaves dried leaves from certain tree and you get hit by them and it gets all the uh, toxins out of your system plus it sort makes the circulation of the blood go faster then after you get you finished everything you start taking a shower you ready yeah oh oh ah. Вот так горизонтально или вертикально? Горизонтально, где туда крыть? Давай поваляйся там немного. Ну-ка, все, подожди, я то же самое сделал. That's how it is in the Russian bank. Day two on Solovki Islands. It was pretty good sleep because it's super quiet, super cozy, warm. We have some, a lot of snow outside. It's going to be an adventurous day. About 11 a.m. in the morning. In this place, used to be the main, the original banya, I means sauna with the bathhouse, for the whole village where everybody would come, come in once a week, I believe. Приводит сюда уже нового монаха, преподобного Зосима. Но по какой-то причине к месту, где первые кели там до северного острова стояли, вот они туда не пошли. Вот они остановились, ну, примерно в двух километрах от славянского монастыря в районе Филиппова Садков. Потому что поставили кели, эти кели находились в версте друг от друга. И вот однажды преподобный Зосима вышел из своей кели, и увидел чудо, храм на востоке, на воздухе, храм на востоке воздухе. Вот на этой коне мы с вами видим, да, что он из, из кельи выходит, видит храм на востоке воздухе. Это было знаком для преподобного Засима, что на востоке от кельи, то есть здесь, необходимо ставить обитель. Была часть алтарная, была 
на группу финиша, да? То есть как-то надо этой арочке заканчивать. А, ты? Я думал, они Так, сами штаны чистые преображения. Помню, что там... uh -huh. а, то видно, что удалось воссоздать иконостас, то есть как бы такой же деревянный резной стан несенный по золотой. Да, но он Но в большей части ученых отказывались, потому что понимали, что то, в чем их обвиняют, не имеет никакого отношения. Цель – учиться. Просят родителей прислать школьную программу. Да, потому что за ближайший год пишет он, я должен освоить программу за 8 и за 9 класс. I waited there 25 minutes to buy a pack of cigarettes because everybody else is packing their packages and there's one lady working. So that was uh, an example of how village life works. If you're from a city, definitely no patience. It's uh, frustrating. It's definitely frustrating. The tour was good. It was interesting. Just a little too much information about religion. The guide was... He was fine, but I think he he stood at one place too long. He should have walked around more. Yeah. What do you think his hobby is when he has free time? To pray. To... What is your hobby? I pray every day. It's not a hobby, okay? It's I pray lifestyle. every day. It's yeah, like a yeah. rap. I don't know. Maybe his hobby is history. That's why he was our guide, not another guy. So, what do you think? Are you willing to go to monastery for seven days straight, or for three days? I think. It could be an interesting experience, and uh, especially if you want to make a detox or something like that, when you want to leave a uh, noisy, noisy city and to relax, 
when you want to find a harmony inside of yourself. Peace out till next time. Yeah, let's go and have some food. The hungry wolf came back home. Sour? Russian food. Sour? Sa sour pig's fat, borscht. Yeah, we eat borscht every day on breakfast, on uh, dinner, and sometimes on lunch. So now it's lunch time. So actually, that means that we ate it on breakfast and we will eat it on dinner. With some sour cream. Right? Yeah, I suppose it's like an old fashioned refrigerator. So it's. Uh, in the. Cl in the refrigerating pit. Uh huh. Hey, hey, green, green energy pit. Поддержи, да? Да. Прикольно. I'm ready for the adventure of my life. Just most important not to fall through the ice. In a river I'm not ready to die this way. Uh, what is uh, this thing you have seen then? Sun is slay. It's called a slay in Russian So you think you will not fall down, right? I, I don't see any belts if here. I here, I'll be safe. You can sit here. Yeah, but no belts. No belts. I don't know, bro. You gotta tell me. You're the expert. In this yeah, I'm using this first time as well. Knife? For safety, right? I know. Maybe he'll be the bear and they will show him a knife and he will say, whoa, 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 okay. We'll wake him up from his uh, sleep, right? Actually, no bears should be here. It's an island. It's quite small. What about white polar bears? Too low, right? They don't live here. They live up. Is this considered the part of the Arctic Sea? Uh, oh, doesn't it is not an ocean. It is a white sea. Here or no? So the story of this church is that it was built on this island for the welcome of Peter, Peter the Great. This is where let's see the monks built the little house behind me. This is where they built stored the food. The sea here doesn't freeze. But yeah, you can see it in the distance. We're on top of a hill, the biggest hill in Solovki Island. On top of it, there is a monastery, and this is the actually the sauna, the Russian banya that the monks used to use. Because now it looks like it's out of order. This is the well. I'm not sure how close I can get to it. Talking about, we made it up. 
pretty quiet and there's a, a mini lighthouse at the top to give navigation to the ships. garden here. There's some truck Fire station. Most of the soldier tanks. Oh yeah! You call edge of the edge of the world, right? In the Arctic. Yeah. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah, it's quite difficult to, to get into here. It's the first problem, right? And the second problem is uh, wild nature. Actually, it's not a problem, but maybe for somebody. tells me that the great building is a nightclub where 10 people show up. You can see it as the nightclub. And also to your right, we'll see the monastery. Great view with the white background. So we're here at uh, Nikita's father's house and he has a lot of antiques that we are not familiar with, probably. Which they used So it's a radio with the... Wow, nice design. Record player. So it doesn't work, he says. 1930s. 1930s. Radio, record player, record player. Radio. 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 Magnetophon. Magnetophon. Yeah, projector. Yeah. Okay, this is this one is to make a mineral water with sparkling water actually. Ah, okay. Sparkling water, lemonades. To make pictures. It's a lens. It's not know. It's a primus. Like a mini, cooking mini stove. stove. Yeah, cooking stove. stove. Portable stove. Like old. This is a Schwinner machine. Schwinner machine. Sewing machine. Twitter ah, for for sweater making. Yeah, yeah. Not not for sweater, for ma for sweater material actually. Like knitting, knitting. Yeah, 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 knitting. Knitting. Right. Samovar. Это мышеловка. Check this out. It's a mouse trap. <laughs> it's a mouse trap. Oh. Это мини телевизор. Телевизор. Карамысла воду таскать. It's to, ca to carry the water buckets on the side, you put it, and then you put it on here, and then you carry it to this. Yeah. Have a phone, phone booth <laughs> inside the house. Can you call to a lady? Hello? <laughs> Can I call to Compton? She's <laughs> Yeah, she's so like 60s. 50s, 50s, 60s. Very cool. Wow. 